Hello my shining stars, Cancers, here is your horoscope for May and I hope you will enjoy this beautiful drone flight over cans and cherries in Vancouver. Cancer, as you know, is ruled by Moon and we have very interesting astrological events this month. The month May starts with Mars in Aries in your house, Dan. If Mars has a significant power in your birth chart and there are lots of aspects with Mars in Aries. My recommendation to watch Horoscope for Aries is because Mars rules Aries sign. As you know, Mars symbolizes drive, energy, passion, and conflicts. And because it's in your house 10, house of status, your public house, your goals, achievements, you might have some interesting events. Maybe you will get the promotion finally, or it can be a conflict with authority figures or your bosses. Maybe it's time to become active and it will be decision to quit or start something completely new. For many cancers, it will be the news about your achievements, like a red carpet, an Oscar moment, it also can be some conflicts or misunderstandings with your father or father-like figure. If you applied for changing of the citizenship or PR, it will be definitely the news because Mars in Aries is a very active planet and in House 10 it will bring you development of the events as well as some rapid change in this house. On May 2nd, Pluto will go retrograde in your house 8. Please watch my video about Pluto in 2024, you will find out lots of interesting information that you need to know because Pluto in House 8 will play a significant role. House 8 is house of death transformation as well as house of crisis and mutual funds. And when Pluto is retrograde, it will bring you some news and changes connected with your past. It will be definitely unexpected changes in your mutual funds. It doesn't necessarily have to be bad ones. It can be enormous amount of money because Pluto signifies big corporations, big amount of money. In house eight, Pluto will be changing your views and your values. Pluto will stay in your house eight for the next 20 years. On May 4th, Moon enters Aries, and people who suffer from migraines, please prepare your anti-migraine medications. For people who have Zodiac, Ascendant, or a Moon sign in Cancer, Moon cycles play a significant role in your life. And if you will understand how to align your life decisions as well as your life choices with the lunar cycles, you will see how effortlessly you can reach your goals and become very successful and even heal yourself from different illnesses. More about lunar cycles and the energy of each lunar day, what to do and what not to do, is in my ebook. Please check it out. Some cancers might feel the eclipses effect around mid May because lunar and solar eclipses have three months epicenter and if you haven't seen my May and April horoscopes please watch it because they explain the effect and in which houses you had eclipses the life-changing events. On May 7th we have a new moon in Taurus in your house 11. House 11 is a house of groups, clubs, big organizations, online business, digital currencies and new technology. As I mentioned before, Lunar Calendar is an essential tool for Cancers to navigate their success effortlessly. New moons are great for new beginnings, but some people think that it's the day of a new moon that will bring you the success. And it's not entirely true, because when there is a new moon, there is no lunar energy. That's why I called my channel First Lunar Day is the day of intentions, plans, schedule and education. It's not the time for straight actions, not yet. And depends on which lunar day you were born, you can discover for yourself the best lunar days for you. In general, the best lunar days to start something is on the fourth or fifth lunar day. But again, I give more information in my ebook. 
When there is new moon in Taurus, it's nice to set your intentions, to make plans. And if you write down something and you program your success, you usually can see it on a full moon. And this year we are blessed with two full moons in Taurus that will be on October 17th and November 15th. All these events are happening in your house 11. And on May 15th, Mercury, the planet of ideas, as well as news, entering your house 11 until June 3rd. How wonderful that you will have new information and new energy in your house of dreams, house of your future, online business, long-term goals. Maybe you will be visiting birthdays or organizing the weddings. Maybe you will be involved in the decisions connected with mortgage or car lease. It's a great time to start creating your new dream team, organizing webinars or different events. You will definitely have more public events or barbecue parties in May. Amazing opportunities are for you from May 18th to May 22nd because Venus in Taurus, the planet of love, money, luxury, beauty, meets Jupiter in Taurus, the planet of gifts, expansion, and good luck, and they meet Uranus and Taurus in your house 11. Uranus is the planet of unexpected changes, big events, big life-changing decisions. And this trio in your house 11 will open you wide doors of opportunities connected with big groups of people. Maybe you will be celebrating something. On big events, you can meet people who will make your dreams come true, you are laying the ground, the basement for your future during these dates. It's your best performance, attending of exhibitions, receiving financial results, or because Taurus is also the earth sign that is connected with safety and security and values, you will have some eye-opening moments and in this way change your future for better. On May 20th, Sun enters your house 12 until June 17th. Sun will bring energy, will bring courage to finalize certain things in your life because house 12 is the house of cleansing, getting rid of something, finalizing things as well as its house of subconscious. You will spend more time in solitude, maybe working at some projects or preparing something. Or maybe you will discover that you are expecting a child. Maybe you will be cleansing your body and participate in detox programs. You might visit sacred places, retreats, remote places, remote islands. Maybe it will be a hospital check for you. Please pay attention because House 12 is also a house of the places of isolation such as hospitals. If you decide to go for beauty injections, the time is good until Venus is in Taurus. It means until May 22nd. Sun and House 12 can bring you a job contract if you're looking for a job in the places or in the jobs connected with House 12. And there are many jobs connected with House 12. You will definitely get news and, and if you will get the job offer, choose it because this would be astrological. On May 23rd, Venus enters Gemini, changing the sign, entering your house of isolation and very private house, house 12, where you have already sun. Venus is the planet of love, money, luxury, art, creativity, so it means that it's good for online dating, or maybe you will meet a foreigner who you will fall in love, or maybe you will treat yourself with a cruise on board the cruise ship or on a boat, visiting remote places, islands, the places of pleasures, because Venus is the planet of pleasures. Maybe you will receive some pregnancy news. Venus in Gemini will bring you news, information, and it's wonderful for educational cycles or receiving money from foreigners or education. Gemini is the air sign that rules ideas and the house of mind. That's why everything intellectual will bring you money. Full moon in Ophiuchus 
on 23rd of May will be in your house 6, house of work, health, and additional responsibilities. If health is your major theme right now, and you already have received your test results around May 20th, on a full moon it will be a climax, it will be a spotlight on your health, it will be the right diagnosis, it will be right people in the right time. The information about your health will become clear and you will know how to resolve the issues. If health is not your subject, then this full moon can be played in the area of your additional responsibilities. There is a little twist to it because Ophiuchus, 13th zodiac sign, is the sign of teaching hidden knowledge, healing, magic, or healing in the magical way, as well as karmic lessons. So if something interesting happens to you around the full moon, it might be a karmic event that will teach you a karmic lesson in order to have better life, in order to cleanse yourself from unnecessary things. They might be events in your family that will change your routines or schedule. Of course, it can be a change of a job because Mars is in Aries in your house, tan your public status. Maybe you will relocate or immigrate somewhere and your schedule and routines will be changed due to relocation. House 6 is house of pets. That's why pay precise attention to your pets. This would be the spotlight on their lives. House 6 is also house of helpers. Somebody who assists you in your business or private lives. Nannies, cleaners, people from service business car mechanics, gardeners, nurses, postmen. It's also a possibility that you will get a, a good family doctor or the doctor that you really need in this moment of your life. Full moon in Ophiuchus in your house of health is amazing for getting rid of different illnesses. The possibilities to have a full moon in Ophiuchus is very rare. Usually it happens on a leap year, but even on a leap year, it's very rare when we have two full moons in Ophiuchus in April and May. Write down the list of the things that you want to get rid of and burn it on a full moon with the words of gratification for your life, for your karmic lessons, not to use any swear words, not to use any curse language, not to use any bad words with good thoughts, with positive and grateful mind and heart, and you will see how effortlessly all your problems that you wrote down will be taken away. And don't be surprised if you will not be able to burn it from the first time. It means that you definitely have some karmic tale that have to be removed, and this ritual will assist you to get rid of your problems. On 25th of May, Jupiter enters Gemini in your house 12 for a year. House 12 is house of, of hidden things, hidden knowledge, magic and subconsciousness, childhood traumas, our fears, something that prevents us from growing. But because it's house of cleansing, you will see what do you need to work at in order to succeed, to start your new life. You will have big opportunities in foreign lands, in charity work. There is a possibility for pregnancy because Jupiter brings children. In your house 12, it's the house of preparation. You might have news that you are expecting a baby, or it will be good news about adoption, especially if the child is a foreigner. House 12 is house of isolation, as I mentioned before. So if you will find yourself in a hospital, Jupiter will bring you successful operations. So please do not worry about anything. Jupiter, the planet of luck, will assist you to get rid of the bad things easily. It will be required to release your old bad habits, your negative mindset, and become more kind and more grateful for the life that we have. In the end of May, there would be wonderful aspect, Jupiter in your house 12, your guardian angel, and Pluto retrograde in your house 8, in house of unexpected events, mutual funds, and house of crises. Aspect is 120 degrees, it's called the door of opportunities. I don't know how to interpret 
good news from crises and ending of something, but for some people, death of somebody in your family can mean inheritance, or maybe it's the expansion of business connected with death, transformation, and crisis, and therapy. Also, it can be that the family soul that you were very attached will be coming back to your family through the pregnancy of somebody in your family. Also, if you will have different crisis situations or even accidents, you will be lucky in the situations because guardian angels over a year will be having an extra shift in everything connected with your life. You will be getting opportunity and good luck with money connected with financial funds of your partners or enemies. Also, you will be having discoveries and valuable hidden information, for example, in the areas of astrology, esoterics, neurolinguistic practices, everything connected with house aid, maybe hypnotherapy. Maybe you will discover different talents in yourself. For example, like me, when, when I started having the prophetic dreams on certain lunar days. Jupiter in house 12, house of faraway lands, foreigners, solitude, and traveling, as well as receiving the finances, the money from being alone or the work that you do alone, might have a very good connection with intimacy, sex, fertility. It's also the matters of house 8 or enlightenment, rebirth, the new belief system, new religion. Maybe you will receive more money from your partner or good mortgage deals or lucky grants, insurance and taxes, everything connected with money of big structures, of big organizations. This is the house eight. If you ever doubt yourself applying for different financial grants, it would be a wonderful time after May 27th to do that because Jupiter and Pluto will have this aspect is the gift from universe for you. In fact, there is every day something happening, different aspects. You can check my e-horoscope that is available on Kindle Amazon. One of the best things that you ever can do is to align your life cycles with the cycles of the moon and work with your subconscious self to discover who is living inside of you, to work through different childhood traumas, because inside of you there is a wisdom of previous generations, and if you align yourself well enough, you can predict your future with your intuition. Your inner voice will be so reliable as autopilot for the airplanes. May is such an eye-opening month, full of amazing life opportunities, financially and romantically. I wish you wonderful insights and discoveries. If you like this video, show that YouTube algorithm that you value my videos by commenting or liking. I hope to see you in my future videos. Have a wonderful month. See you soon.